So what is trust? Um, our academic colleagues have been debating that question for over 30 years and they still haven't come to a single final conclusion. But I think what's clear is that trust involves three things, three critical aspects. Uh, involves risk, um, because if I'm going to trust you, uh, I make myself vulnerable to you. It involves hope, because if I make myself vulnerable, I hope that you're not going to take advantage of that situation. And trust has both uh, rational, emotional and moral components. So whether I trust you or not is partly about what I think, it's partly about what I feel, and it's partly what the moral code of the day is. Um, my own favourite definition of trust comes from Professor Denise Rousseau, and she said trust is a psychological state in the mind of the person who is doing the trusting. Uh, and what I particularly like about that is that whether you trust me is in your mind, uh, and I can't control that. So as a leader, um, I can't tell you to trust me. I can't force you to trust me. Uh, and it uh, makes us uh, think as leaders about how do we create an environment in which that trust is inspired in you, um, rather than me feeling that it's something that is my right to ask you and expect of you to trust me. Even though the definition of trust is uh, varied, one thing that all um, researchers and practitioners agree upon is that trust is very important for effective leadership. Uh, Jack Welsh, the ex-CEO of General Electric, was interviewed last year and he said leadership is about two words, truth and trust. Uh, and then in the academic uh, sphere, um, probably the most powerful piece of research that uh, I've come across around the impact of trust was carried out in 2002 uh, by Tony Simons and Judy Parks at the University of Cornell. They surveyed 6,500 employees uh, in the Holiday Inns across Canada and they found that a one-eighth improvement in trustworthiness of the leader contributed to a 2.5% increase in profitability. And I think that's a very compelling reason for all leaders to think very hard about the value of trust, the importance of it, and how it can contribute to bottom line results. Well, trust has always mattered, but in today's world, what's particularly different about the world we live in now is that nothing can be hidden. So because of uh, technology and access to the internet, globalisation, diversity, everybody now can access huge repository of information via the internet. And that means uh, nothing can be hidden. If you look at the recent uh, example of the Panama Papers leaks, which ultimately led to the resignation by the Prime Minister of Iceland, that's something that 20, 25 years ago, uh, that information would not have been available. There wouldn't have been the technology to make it available to ordinary people like you and I. Um, so that's really changed the game. Transparency of information has changed the game around trust. And whereas trust mattered, it always mattered. I think it's now raised the stakes and we've gone to a different level. And therefore leaders need to respond to that by taking their trust building skills also to a, a different level.